me tell you something. Actually, let me tell you six things. I'm going to tell you six ways that you can develop your channeling abilities. Count them. Six ways you can develop your channeling abilities. Are you ready? One, <laughs> meditation. <sighs> Meditation is like the most powerful thing you can do to quiet your mind, enhance your intuition, and connect with your higher source. Now, meditation doesn't have to mean that you sit in a lotus position or you have to, you know, do your hands a certain way. Meditation is just about getting still. So you can receive the messages from your guidance. Understand that, that some people teach that you have to be a little physically uncomfortable during your meditation and that keeps you more present during your meditation. That is not what I teach. <laughs> I teach people to get comfortable and sit in the stillness. That's when you get the best, strongest messages that you can. I believe your messages come in in so many different ways that you don't have to hold your mouth just right, that you don't have to sit in a lotus position. Just meditate, get still. Number two, grounding. I mentioned grounding, which is very important because it helps you maintain that balanced energy when you're channeling. To ground yourself, you can visualize roots extending through your feet down deep into the earth, anchoring yourself into that earth and loving that great mother earth. And when you do, that brings your energy more into an awareness in your core because you can sort of visualize those roots going into the earth, balancing your energy. Practice grounding. That's a good thing to do during your meditation. Number three <laughs> is to visualize. Visualization is a powerful technique that can enhance your channeling ability. You can create a clear mental image in your mind and that helps expand that energy into channeling. Just take a few moments and breathe into a bright white light surrounding you and protecting you. This visualization can actually create a sacred space. Now this is number four. <laughs> Automatic or guided writing. We talked a little bit about that before. Guided writing is a technique that really helps you connect with your guidance. If you want to practice it, put your pen in your hand, your paper on your lap, and then go into an altered state or a meditation state. If you really want to get deeper, you can use our guided meditation, which is called Messages from Your Soul. And we also have a shorter one on daily meditations, five. Practice active listening. So most people don't think of listening when they think of channeling. However, developing your channeling abilities also involves honing your listening skills. Practice active listening by paying attention to the subtle messages and insights that you have during your meditation and your, your energy sessions. Be open to receiving those messages in a wide variety of forms. They may, you may hear words, you may see images, you may feel sensations, or you may feel emotions. Trust your intuition and follow that guidance to know that you are not probably going to hear some booming voice that you think sounds like God or something. Instead, it may feel like the slightest breeze has just passed through your energy. And that may be a part of the guidance that you're going to be channeling. Six, seek guidance and support. When I started down this path, I didn't really have any support and I had nobody that I could talk to, which is why I teach it now. If you're new to channeling and want to enhance your abilities further, consider seeking out a, a practice group or an experienced channeler, or other spiritual teachers or mentors. Joining a workshop can really provide supportive energy where you can learn new techniques and receive guidance. There's all kinds of ways that you can learn how to channel. I've just given you six, six techniques that you can learn to develop your channeling ability. And you know, if you want any other questions, just go to my website and email me. I'll be happy to help you. So understand that when you incorporate these techniques, 
your channeling skills, which are innate within you, will get better, bigger, and stronger. Namaste, y'all.